All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on. Over there, we have Nia Legends again. Of course, one of our favorite decks to play here um, on the stream. It's been a, it's been a few days since we um, have played Nia Legends, so let's go ahead and uh, play it again. Uh, not too much to say about the deck. Uh, keep it the same from the last couple times that we've played it. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get to some games and have some fun. Naya Legends. <laughs> yeah, Perry, it's good to have a little bit of a social life. I haven't gone out or done anything in a long time, and so, I mean, it's just going and seeing a movie, but that's what I'm going to do. Um, I don't think I want Jai's Inferno in the deck. I have played Jai's Inferno before whenever I first started playing it, and ended up sideboarding it out a lot, and um, didn't, didn't find it helping us win games that we wouldn't have won otherwise otherwise too often. Alright, so Wednesday 3rd. Gruel Dinos. Wednesday 3rd. Perfect. Got that written down. Hey, Team Moneyless! Getting that quip hype in here. Again, enjoy your amazing toothbrush. Alright, we have a 10 hours or a 12 hour stream time. Was that I'll make them ha, now I've seen them worse. This is gonna reset. Ooh, that's a good card. Alright, when's our 12 hour stream gonna be? Yeah, we got a 12-hour stream to celebrate getting to 10 people. Um, only standard-wise. Uh, yeah, I don't... How did you do Yeah, that? not playing modern. Just playing standard here on, on Arena. Um, so, Team Moneyless, if you have a, a donation deck you'd like me to play, like one of your decks, or if there's a specific deck that that I usually play that you'd like me Good to play, to bad rubbish. you know, like how we just had the request for Drill Dinos... Let me know what day, what time, and what deck, and I'll get you signed up. So, Esper Control. Um, I want Huatli to resolve. Let's try, let's go Weatherlight. Yeah, I absolutely take Viewer Submitted Brews to play and tweak, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, so I, I do that, like, uh... Let's see. Alright, so I'm gonna sack... I'm gonna sack one treasure here. Just to give this the third power to be able to kill the Kaya. Um... So yeah, I do like donation decks if you'd like to... You know, so you can donate for me to, to play your deck. If... If you just want to have like a deck, deck suggestion, I also take those too. Um, you know, it's I may not play your deck, um, but I I may. If you'd like to suggest a deck, um, an easy place to do that is uh, through Discord. You can send me a message there, um, or you can join the Discord channel, and you can also um, post your deck list in the Discord channel if you'd like help from the other mem members in the in the channel as well. Or any like deck ideas, that kind of stuff. Yeah, and so all the all the info about donating for decks is underneath in the donation section. Um let's go Shalai. If our opponent has um, Kaya's Wrath to be able to sweep up our board. They likely won't have that and a counter spell for Huatli. Okay. On the phone, you may have to, like, tab over. I think there's, like, different tabs. But, but yeah, you can check it out. Also, when you get home, no! 
That's bad news. There goes Watley. All right, let's draw another Planeswalker. Come on, deck, you can do it. Give us a Planeswalker. Ooh. Kamal's Druidic Vow. That's the card I was even just thinking of. Perfect. All right, we're going to Vow for five. Unfortunately, we have to do it post-combat, even though we can get, like, haste things. All right, so 12-hour stream. Um, I'm thinking Thursday. How, how are y'all feeling about Thursday? Because, you know, tomorrow... Tomorrow I'm doing like the early stream so I can go see the movie and everything. So it'll be a little bit it'll be like a little bit of a later night for me. So I don't really want to just do the twelve hour stream right away on Wednesday then. Um So I'm thinking Thursday. Does that work for y'all? I have faced worse than the likes of you. Yeah, we got the good 5 for 5 with the Druidic Vow there. But that's, to be fair, that's basically all of our deck. I think we had, with having this Lava Coil in our hand, I think we have three cards that would not have gotten a hit. Uh, we had the two Urza's Ruinous Blast and... Oh, no, there's not even another Coil, so... Or the other Druidic Vow. Yeah, there you go. So there's three other Legendary Sorceries in the deck that would not have been a hit. So only three cards in the deck would not have been a hit. So not too surprising to get 5 for 5. Um, I'd be doing 11 to 11. That's my 12-hour stream schedule is 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. So I start um, four hours early and finish an hour late. The choices we make reveal who we are. Those are two good cards. Um, I, yeah, I think best of one meta, you can certainly cut down on absorbs. Absolutely. Um, I don't think absorb is like, if there's a lot of aggro absorb, isn't great because you usually don't have time just to hold up the three mana. I mean, the, the three life of course is, is really nice later on, but yeah, you, you can certainly cut down to three in my opinion. Um, I'm considering just popping this treasure. No, we have another Lannery Storm in hand. We don't need to just pop the treasure just to try to do one damage. And this seems like this is where their Akaya's Wrath is coming. So I don't think I need to throw out the Lannor Elf. Hey, Zerf with the Tier 3 sub. Day's going awesome. I just added today... Um, so a couple city and color songs. How you recommended that band? So from your recommendation, let's pick up Karn again. How convenient! An excellent choice. Oh yeah, definitely enjoying it. Um, let's see if you're worthy. Let's get that thing out of here. Feel the wrath of Scala. Let's play this card. Let's sack this treasure to play this land war elf. And pump the Lannery Storm. Make a new treasure. Alright, so... We got to our our quip our first time getting the twip, the equip goal. Had Ten people sign up for quip, so we we're doing a twelve hour stream to celebrate. So we'll, I'll schedule that for Thursday. Twelve hour stream Thursday. Let's slow this down. Twelve hour quip lash. <laughs> Hurry. Let 
looking pretty good here. Let's take up our Vivian first. I'm probably going to use Karn to go get Aurelia. Comes. Oh, man. Is our opponent dead? They're at nine. They're probably dead. If they have nothing, that is. What was lost is now returned. Like, they may have, like, cast down to kill the land war elf. That's still 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's still 10 damage. All right, let's give it to Tajik. So I, because I want to pump the land restorm. I, I don't care about the... Oh, no! Moment of craving. All right, they're not dead. They're not dead. We had lethal through a cast down, but... Alright, now let's just kill Teferi. Does mean I need to waste this mana and not be able to play the Shauna. I really should have seen that coming. So that, that uh, goal is reset. So if we get 10 more people to sign up for Quip, we'll be doing another 12 hour stream and so on. We can find this deck list, exclamation point deck. Wait, did I update the deck list command? Oh, actually, you know what? I don't think I did update the deck list command. I thought there was something I was missing. All right, this won't take long to sideboard. Um, actually, let me let me get this deck list command updated. Where are you at, Nia Legends? There you are. I've played against Esper a bunch of this deck. There you go. All right, deckless command has been updated. This color is called Naya. This color combination. All right, so coil and blaster out. Carnage tyrant, cinder vines in. Um, Lyra also in. Spyglass in. And Shauna out. There we go. I'm not sold on the Cinder Vines yet. If those are all necessary. No, the one of Lava Coil in main deck is not a big deal, but I... Um, I've had more success after putting it in. I, It has been, you know, useful um, against all the various creature decks having access to it. Hmm. Uh, hate having to throw another Vivian down on the bottom. Oh, come on. Of course, we have more green sources than red or white, uh, so... Yeah. So what I thought was going to happen to, like, one of ours... I don't know, I guess I should just go to five. <laughs> it's an awful hand if we don't, you know, with our... We have, like, the two looks with, like, the scry and draw step of looking for a green source. It's an awful hand if we don't find it. And we did not. Five card hands aren't particularly good either. Finish getting this Simic Adapt list up on YouTube. All right, let's play first. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Playable hand. Yeah, need Chromatic Lantern off the top. Perfect. 
Good job, Matthew. You get uh, got a place to go sell the ice cream at. Good job. Perfect. All right, time to get some chip chip shots in. Chip damage here. Chip damage there. And let's draw this third land so we can play a four drop next turn. Third land. Third land. Yeah, uh, exclamation point decks. That's where you can find all the decks there. Kaya's Wrath, Chupacabra. Alright, so Teferi. We're not doing very good at drawing lands. I am playing, this is a 26 land deck because lands are pretty important with our curve being high. So we are a 26 land deck that we have not drawn our lands with. Which is pretty unfortunate for us. Real unfortunate. Okay, I should make it say 10 out of 20. Instead of going back. Oh, there's all of our lands. All right, so the first Shalai eats a Chupacabra, but the second Shalai should be able to block the Thief. And yeah, Thief is, is awesome against us. I mean, our deck is filled with four and five mana mythics that are really good. So yeah, Thief is really good against us if we don't have the creatures to block it. Thief is a reason why I actually like boarding out Lyra, because Lyra is really hard for, like I really struggle with Lyra. Like, uh, like beating my opponent's Lyra <laughs> kind of thing. But, yeah, Tristani would be a good card to have. Now, we are not doing good at drawing lands in our 26 land deck. Yeah, our opponent doesn't want to take Tristani. Look to the sun! Because, you know, Tristani just goes back to us because of Thieves Sanity, and Kamal's Druidic Vow, if they don't have Legends, isn't really worth it. So, yeah, it looks like I guess they have they had Huatle as the other card. Okay. Let's go with a Weatherlight. We can use... Like, if they have Huatle minus four to kill Shalai, we can use Shalai to crew Weatherlight. And now we're drawing a couple lands. That's good. We drew a land there. I would not mind if they Kai's Wrath. You know, it's not really a bad Kai's Wrath for us. But Wally will take over. So they're minus fouring there. The more I conquer, the sweeter the victory. All right, we need to draw this land for this Carnage Tyrant. We're gonna squee. So 
I can I can attack Huatli, but then they get to Thief of Sanity again. Um but I kill Huali. Is it is it good to kill Huali and let them activate Thief again, or should I sit back on defense? I probably need to just kill the Huali. Green hat, you like defense? This song needs another verse. Don't like how that, like them knowing my hand, they could they could cash in like the Huatli and kill my land war elf. Um. Looks like they probably found something pretty good. Maybe it's three lands? Hmm. Spyglass or something. Uh, almost had the land for the Carnage Tyrant. Like, you know, but our land were off died a little too early. So I don't I don't know what we can get here. I think we're just dead. Um I don't think there's anything we can get here. The Thief of Sanity, Ravenous, Chupacabra plan worked out really well against... You know, like, their cards matched up really well against my Cindervine's Spyglass. Um, this game. You don't see Chupacabra too often in, in that sideboard. That was not really a card I was expecting. Chupacabra was awesome. Named Teferi with Spyglass. Unfortunately, I did not draw a bunch of Teferis. Alright, new game. This doesn't look so good for us. At least I got my lands though. So we'll see if they have like a Chupacabra or Hostage Taker for this Land War Elf. That's what it's looking like. Alright, so Mega Dampt is ready to go. Frilled Mystic? I 
guess it's Frilled Mystic. And I'd rather have Tristani get countered than Vivian. Frilled Mystic is a great card. It is a great, it's a great card. Yeah, this kind of bigger version of Soul Tie is certainly a deck that I've seen popping up a, a good amount with um, just a bunch of Thought Erasures, Frilled Mystics, Hostage Shakers, Hydroid Crasuses, a bunch of gold cards. Every fight makes me stronger. I mean, sure, I can kill the. I can kill the crisis. But it's kind of like, what's the point? The crisis the is. The wilds are my shield. Gonna dominate us. I mean, sorry. What point? Like they, they just have like they just have all these cards. I kind of want to just find like a Lyra, like something that can like actually win. Like we're not like I just kill the Krasis, they kill my Vivian, and I'm I'm left with nothing, and they're left with all this stuff. Might as well start digging for like maybe a, a Lyra. You know, our opponent doesn't have an answer for some reason or something like that. Yeah, our priest decked it really well. We um, ended up beating Mono Blue a bunch. Um, just kind of kept on getting paired against Mono Blue, and so we didn't face a big variety of decks, but. Um, I liked where our deck was at. Every defeat is a new beginning. Do they have Frilled Mystic number three? Okay. Not Frilled Mystic number three. That removal spell. Frilled Mystics were awesome. You know, like countering our expensive spells like that um, and making the bodies that just killed us. Quite good. All right, let's get another blast in. We're going to be like behind and need to exile a bunch of things. Um, okay, cool. Team Moneyless. Perfect. Arby says, keep up the positivity and good teaching. Well, thanks, Arby. And thanks for that uh, resub there. Yeah, so I'll, I'll get to you after the stream. I'm, I'm not on Discord during the stream, like while, while I'm streaming. So I'll check out your message afterwards. There. Is this sub number nine? I think I'm one behind. I think that should be seven, because I know it redid two of them. This could be a quick, this could be a quick league for Nia Legends, unfortunately. Um, hmm. Not sure exactly what I want to do against this version of Sultai. Right, I'm just going to take out the... Um,
Can I take out the weather light? Try it out in a in a powered cube. For Willem's Reclamation in a power cube. Yeah, I think it's probably a good cube card and a good commander card. Um, but standard, it's just it's just too powerful. Just can't have can't have access to like just that amount of mana in standard, and have it um, you know be a balanced effect. Shauna Sisei's Legacy was the worst possible card we could draw. With already having one, with them being legendary and not able to cast. It was just the actual worst possible card we could draw. In the entire deck. So that's not a good way to start the, the game when out of the 53 cards you draw the worst one. Alright. Go ahead and start now, Shauna. Good part. The good part about Shauna is it doesn't get hostage takered or chupacabra or anything like that. And I felt if I played Aurelia, our opponent would just have like their removal spell for Aurelia, where. Um, I don't know, I probably should have just played Aurelia. I don't want to play into Frilled Mystic. So I guess I'm just attacking for one. Just be able to wait till we can double spell. Going uh, real slow through the turns. Pawn's got the full control on. There's nothing, you know, it's, it's not like an insult or anything. It's just, you know, it takes a while to go through all these turns and steps and everything. Keep on hitting him for one. Fortunately, I wish we had like some instant speed stuff, but we don't. Yeah, they certainly have a bunch of frilled mystics. At least one that they're holding up. And with me, like, I don't have very many cards. And especially not very many good cards. Each card that I have is in my hand is very val valuable. I can't just waste a card into a counter spell. Like, I just, I just can't right now. Um, you know, perhaps another time. Whenever we can double spell. But just throwing out Tristani into an obvious frilled mystic is not not a winning play. We'll play another Shauna though. One more mana and we we could potentially double spell with Aurelia and Tristani. Now they can, they're wanting to Krasis for five, where they can still have Frilled Mystic available. That's what I thought that shock was about.
If they just tap out with a crisis. Then we get to play a really big Druidic Vow. Alright, well now we're even on cards 5-5. Five to five. It's not bad, but, you know, like I was saying, the Mystics are kind of two-for-ones. So let's go with Amara. Let's attack with the 2 2 Shauna now. The problem with playing Aurelia into Vivian is that if my if my opponent Frilled Mystics the Aurelia, we play Vivian to kill the Hydroid Crisis. They just have the Frilled Mystic that can kill our Vivian. And I don't love having the Frilled Mystic just be able to kill the Vivian like that. We would have had like a 1-1 one, one Shauna to be able to... Um, would have had like a 1-1 one, one Shauna that would have could have like chumped to keep our Vivian alive. This is tough. So they even get their crisis back with the memorial and everything. We're just pretty dead. Frilled Mystic is just so, so good against my deck. All my cards costing four and five mana. Frilled Mystic countering it and putting a, a, bound, a, uh, a blocker. Uh, the, the opponent played it really well. Their cards are just a little better than ours. Frilled Mystic and Hydroid Crisis are better than the cards I'm playing. Um, and I, I was hoping, like, my biggest hope with this game was that they were going to get stuck on lands and not be able to just continue to hit land drops and be able to just uh, have those cards available, but um, that was not the case. Our opponent did hit a whole lot of land drops and... Um, You know, now we are, we were not able to bottleneck them on mana, which was our, our best hope of winning. So they're able to play Hydro Crisises for five and keep Frilled Mystic available, just the, the best of both worlds.
our best chance is them running out of frilled mystics by the time we druidic vow and just this druidic vow resolving druidic vows are our best chance does frilled mystic have a tentacle coming out of its armpit no i think that's it's like hair i think that's frilled mystic's hair if elf wizard lizards have hair Yeah, I think it's like a ponytail. Yeah. So they're down to four cards. All right, next turn's the turn. Let's see if they have yet another counter spell for a Druidic Vow. Hopefully not. Yeah, that's that's the praying. We're we are dreaming for on this druidic vow. Go ahead and just play a land. Get rid of one of those cards. Uh, so much for them only having four cards. Now they have six. Please resolve, please, res please resolve. Yeah, our opponent's our opponent's soul tie deck isn't playing like I don't think they're playing Jade Light with like the double green early. I think they're playing like a, a more controlling version. All right, this is this is the game. I mean, we could still lose even though it, if it resolves, but we definitely lose if it does resolve if it doesn't. And another negate. Well, an O2 for Nia Legends. Yeah, resolving something against six card hand. Not too likely. Um, yeah, our opponent had an awesome hand for the matchup there of just land drops and counter spells. Um, where's our deck? There it is. I did not have you know nearly a fast enough hand uh, after that mulligan. Um, you know, to be able to punish them at all. I just had the Shauna. Um, you know, like that I, you know, we got to play like a 1-1 one, one on like turn four and we hit him for one a bunch. But, you know, if our 1-1 one, one was just a 2-2, two, two, you know, like kind of thing, could have certainly helped. Um, could mentor onto the concede button. <laughs> yeah, we've had a lot of good success with this deck throughout the year. Um yeah, I was kind of due for an O2 with the success we've had with it before. Um, that was an unfortunate league. Um, yeah. Our 
our con like control matchups are what we've have struggled with with the deck though just in general like our lowest win rates are against control decks and that's what we that's what we played against too we played against the soul tie control and esper control and you know we lost them both um you know they, those control decks we are probably under 50 percent against just in general with our deck like this that's our our toughest matchup um if control decks aren't beating you know decks full of just four and five cmc cards you know they're not doing too well um yeah rhythm of the wild is i originally had rhythm of the wild in our sideboard um in this deck i had like three rhythm of the wilds um if we played like that exact game that we just played it, it would be fine but Rhythm of the Wild was not impressive against Esper, and it w did not help the matchup, honestly, which which, which was surprising. Um, but like they would either if like against against Esper specifically, Esper doesn't play tons of counter spells. They have some, um, but if they if they had like the counter magic, they would just mortify my um, Rhythm of the Wild, and if they did have the counter magic. They would just let the rhythm of the wild do its thing and just kill my creatures. Um, and so the rhythm didn't really help with usually, usually against control decks. The most important cards that we have are the, the planeswalkers, the Vivians, the car the Huali. Those are like the most important cards and rhythm of the wild doesn't help you resolve those cards. Um, but yeah, they would just let rhythm be a thing and just, you know, yeah. Cast Kai's wrath and kill my creatures. And I don't know. Um, so no, Takali is not good in our deck because our deck against Soltai, our plan is rhythm. Of, uh, or sorry, our our plan against normal Soltai is Urza's Ruinous Blast. Um, this is our our best card against normal Soltai, and so Takali Honor Guard would just get Ruinous Blast away. It would just get exiled away. Um, normal Soltai we're pretty good against. You know, it's just the control decks are tough, and that's that's what we ran into today was just two control decks. Um, I haven't found like a um a cyborg plan that I necessarily love against control. I mean Carnage Tyrant would have been like Carnage Tyrant was like our card that we needed to draw like that whole game. Uh, I forgot about Carnage Tyrant. Did I I didn't even know if I brought him in actually. Actually I don't think I brought him in. I didn't realize how controlling they would be, but so I think that was just a, a bad sideboarding on me, because I don't think I brought in Carnage Tyrants, honestly. So that's probably bad sideboarding on me. Um, Null Hides and Vine Mares don't, sol don't solve any of the problems. They don't really do anything. Um, Vine Mare can get countered pretty easily. Um, or just, you know, get swept up by Kaya's Wrath. Same thing with Null Hide, Kaya's Wrath are uh, countered. Um, or they just pay two extra mana to, to remove Vine Mare. Um, we need, like, faster hands. Like, against those decks, those... Against, like, Esper and stuff, that's really where we want, like, Amara, Tajik... Those those cards are really good uh, for us there. Uh, we need like the we need like the early cards to put pressure on them where they have to tap out to deal with our early stuff and then we can resolve a planeswalker. That's those are the kind of games that we win. Uh, those games just don't happen all the time. All right, so that's um, Naya Legends. Uh, um, well, it's having like the the two other five win decks here, um, and then we have Grixis Control, which should should have a, a longer league. I don't necessarily want to run it back um, here for for another one. Um, so just had the O2 here, but you know we've had a lot of success with the deck, and you know so just kind of talking about some of the the problems with playing a Legends deck is is certainly Control, and that's what we ran into. So it happens. All right. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, um, one, of course, thanks for watching. And two, I hope you hit that subscribe button over there. And besides that, I'll see you for the next video.